Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya. Hello, everyone. So today I feel like talking about how to deal with anger. We all know that it's not good to be angry. Like the Buddha said, greed, anger, and ignorance are like the three poisons in our life. And when we become angry, it affects our health, our body and mind in a negative way. And when we let our anger on others, it can hurt other people and other people may also react back with anger, which can be quite destructive sometimes. So negative energy out, negative energy in. So we don't really want to be angry. But sometimes we may not be able to control our anger, our emotions. So today, let's look at how we can effectively control our anger. But before I go into talking about that, I'd like to take a step back and see exactly what causes our anger. So sometimes we may complain that it's because of other people, other things, external situations that cause the anger in us or provoke the anger in us. On the surface, it may seem to be true. But if we really look deeper, is it really because of other people and external situations that cause the anger in us? Or do we choose to react with anger in that particular situation? So have you noticed sometimes different people may have different attitudes when they react to the same situations? For instance, if someone's yelling at you maybe for no reason, one person may react back with anger and another person may just shrug his shoulder and walk away as if he did not care. So in fact, we do have the choice to choose our attitude, to choose our reactions, to choose whether we want to be angry or not in that particular situation. So sometimes people may be like, yeah, I don't want to be angry, but I just can't help myself because the other person did this and that. So why is this the case? Why sometimes we don't want to be angry, but sometimes we just can't help ourselves. So it also has to do with our mindfulness, like how aware we are about our thoughts and our emotions and whether we are strong enough to transform our thoughts and emotions in that moment. So it really has to do with our awareness, our mindfulness, and that's why it's so important for us to practice meditation daily. The more we practice meditation, the more we will become aware of our mind, our thoughts, our thought patterns, our emotions. And because we are aware of our thoughts, then we may have the ability to transform them. So that's what meditation does. And that's why to practice meditation is actually so important so essential in our everyday life. And in fact, the Nianfo meditation or the Amitabha meditation is actually extremely effective to help us transform our mind, transform our thoughts, transform our emotions in the moment. And it can also help us effectively transform our anger. So you can try this next time when you become aware that you are angry or you are about to let the anger out on others right before that so really take a step back walk away from the situation if you can because if you don't have great self-control then you may let the anger out on others and it may be too late for us to change the situation so just when you become aware that you are about to be angry take a step back and walk away from the situation if you can and really quickly apply your mantra Amitabha, Amitabha, Amitabha and do it quickly so it can help you to transform the thoughts of anger into the name of Amitabha which means infinite light and life and just do this as many times as you need until the anger subsides and you will realize that actually in a short time, the thoughts of anger can quickly subside if you apply the mantra. And you just go like Amitabha, 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 Amitabha. Right? This name carries a very high energy, a high vibration, 
infinite light and life, which is the Buddha nature within all beings, and it can really help you to quickly shift your thoughts, transform your emotions, and transform your anger. And just do it as many times as you need, and you will notice the difference. Just know that your thoughts, your emotions are not you. It's created by your mind, but they're not the true you. So do not identify with them. All the thoughts and emotions are just temporary, which means emptiness in nature. They're not long lasting. So if you're not attached to them, you're not identified with them. Instead, you focus on Amitabha Buddha, then you will not be controlled by them. So do not become the slave to your negative thoughts and emotions. They are not the real you. So it may be difficult for some people at the beginning if you are the kind of person who is more prone to anger, like you get triggered easily. But like anything in life, practice makes perfect. So if you can practice this Amitabha meditation in your daily life, the next time when you encounter the situation, just remember to apply your mantra, this magic mantra, for as many times as you need, and you will notice a shift in your emotions and your thoughts. And you can actually effectively transform your thoughts to help you to be free from your negative thoughts and emotions. And the Buddha also told us that for the people who are more prone to anger, one shall cultivate compassion. So to be compassionate, to be kind to others, to really see the Buddha nature in other people, that infinite light and life in other people. And to understand that it's really due to ignorance that they may act in a foolish way or they may be angry towards us. But for us, we can still choose regardless of how people may treat us, we can still choose to be kind, to be compassionate. So I hope this helps. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya.